Spec to be nimble, spec to be light. Spec to jump over Dark Acolyte. Hey everybody, it's Golden Goofball, and welcome to another episode of Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. Last episode, we went through the Plains of Passage, I think is what it's called. Hang on, let me see. Well, the Plains, I guess. The Plains of the Past. And this time, after much deliberation, I think we will go after King Knight, because he's usually the first one we go for anyway, but... I wanted to show a little, um, info first. Let's see what Dark Acolyte says. King Knight looks over Pridemore from this castle, but his, uh, renovations appear to have stalled. So, King Knight is already employed in the Order of No Quarter. I just wanted to point that out beforehand. So, and things are a lot more... Well, a lot less golden, I should say. And we still have this secret back here, but it's a little bit different. Got Red Skull. I am, I think, I've decided I'm gonna try and get all the Red Skulls. Because there is something neat that happens. It's not as neat, well... It's not as chaotic as the Pandemonium Chalice and Plague of Shadows. Spoilers if you haven't seen that playthrough. But, um... It is still pretty neat. Yeah, do a little bit of side shenanigans. Also, I really should talk more about the music. It is, it is just... It is something else. Oh! <laughs> I love how it ran straight into the wall. But, I think I'm just going to be quiet for a little bit, so that y'all can listen to it. As soon as it loops, loops back around. So right about... Now. Okay, that's about as much as silence I, as I can take. Well, I say silence. Silence for me, but I'm sure it was nice for y'all. It's a really good song that got remixed. Uh, let's see. It, the original uh, track was called In the Halls of the Usurper. This one is just called In the Halls of the King. Which is a little odd, because King Knight's already here, and he's not official. Well, actually, technically he is officially a king, but... We won't get into that until we get into King of Cards. Which I am planning on doing, at least at the current moment. Now let me get this jewel, and then we reset it, and then we go back. So, this is technically after King of Cards. So King of Cards is a prequel to a prequel. So it's very interesting. And I actually went back and looked at the ending to see which um, knight I should go for first. But you know what? I just wanted to do my own thing. I was like, eh, I don't, I don't want to do the order that's shown there. There's not really an order per se, but I just wanted to do it like that. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last episode because it was so long ago. But um, Spectre Knight is a little bit more difficult than both of the other campaigns. And I messed that up. Oh well. Um, but the re- but the reason? No. But I think that's one of the reasons why I like it so much, is because it's more difficult. So I may die a little bit, or undie, re-die- I still don't know how to do that. It's like, you're already dead. So, how do you say that? Undie- re-die? The next death? I don't know. Well, he's dead. I'm already dead. <sighs> but, I'm gonna try my best. Never been- never been too good at doing commentary. Like, sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Did I just mess up? I don't think I did. I almost did. 
Oof. Okay, so I'll go back and get the red skulls if they're not obvious. Like, I'll show them. But if I don't get them, then I'm not, I'm not gonna show them. Oh yeah, new attack. Um, the Griffiths now flap their wings. Yes, I know you saw it, but I wanted to point it out anyway. And say that it was new. And here is a Willful Wisp, which will increase our undeck. So, it'll take more hits in order for us to be defeated. Which is nice. I like not being defeated. Oh yeah, you can reflect those, uh, maces. Maces? Mace eye? I'm not even sure if I'm using the correct term. Spike balls. That's what I'll say. Ah, uh, goodness gracious. Oh yeah. This section is a little bit difficult. But not too much. Yeah, still got the gold behind the banners. And here, they've switched up the placement of the secret area. This used to be right here, but now, it's right here. Sneaky, ain't it? Alright, and just need to keep on dash slashing, but not like that. Ah, dang it. Alright, see you in a sec. Oh, literally. It was right here. I forgot. I don't have to do a jump cut. Yay! I'm not good at that stuff anyway. Okay, here we go. Huh. <sighs> yeah, a neat little detail. Uh, that I think is pretty neat. Um, instead of the money bags having wings, or like bird wings, they have bat wings. So I thought that was pretty neat. Whoop. Yeah, the timing is going to be a lot more strict here. Oh. Oh, boy. And we got Red Skull. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Bottomless pits. Okay. Yeah, I got over it. <laughs> uh. Oh, hello. I don't even remember this being here. Of course, it has been a while. Get out of here. Oh, uh, the dash, the dash slash is just so fun to use. Oh, that was so cool. Oh boy. Okay. Good. Good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if you noticed, but that attack he does, the fireballs and stuff, went directly over the red skull. So if we tried to go for it, we would have been toast. Ah, Rat King Knight already. Who is delaying his reven renovations for whatever reason. Oh look, it's the loyal lapdog. You had to do your master's bidding. Mm -hmm. Chasing your tail around the valley must be tiring. In fact, you look like death. <laughs> As our leader suspected, you don't play it. You've been tasked with setting... I've been tasked with setting you back on schedule. What should I do? Grab a shovel and start digging? Just thinking about it makes my flawless face flush. Working is for commoners, but I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Watch! Okay. One neat thing about Spectre of Torment, they've changed up the bosses. And King Knight is no exception. Every time he gets on the ground, or pounds on the ground, he adds bottomless pits! Oh, don't celebrate just yet. You're going to get it. You're going to... <laughs> He's blocked by the money. Uh, you're going to set your renovations back on schedule even if it kills me. Again. Okay. Yeah, and if he... If he falls in, he does that. Oh gosh, okay, die! Or, yeah. Get back on schedule! Oh yeah, that's a neat attack that he didn't get to show off. And now he's dead. Oh well. I'm sure the Enchantress will find someone else. <sighs> anyway.
We continue. And we found some more red skulls. Hang on, did we get all the red skulls? Now, I'm, before I see red, I'm gonna see if I got all the red skulls. Because I'm not... I probably wasn't that meticulous. Let's see. Okay, I got all of them. Phew! Had me going there for a second. I, I have a terrible memory. Okay, so let's go see Red and see what he has. My heart grows cold. Red, is, red skulls. Uh, let's see. Shadow mirror. I think we could get both of these, actually. If we wanted to. Um, I think this one's pretty good. Oh, eh, well. I like this one. Let's do this one. Ah, uh, this cure here is well guarded. You'll have to fight your way out. Oh! It appears this room isn't cursed. You might be wondering why that is. I'm sorry, but that's another ancient skeleton secret. Now, make haste! Alright, the shadow mirror. Yeah, it just... does that. I'm not good at describing things. You can see for yourself what it does. Of course, you only get so many hits before it actually disappears. But since the darkness get the darkness. Yeah, the darkness. Um, gets refilled every few seconds in this room. It's really not that much of a deal. Excellent. Away we go. That curio is no mere bauble. Use it wisely. Yeah, still can't find Scarlet. Um, let's make another donation. Or offering, I guess. For 800 gold. It's getting pretty full. The vessel is nearly full. We'll see where this leads. In the next episode. But for right now, we have a guest. Hello, King Knight. Oh, look, the sniveling servant here to wait on me. Hey, you, servant, yes, you. More chickens at once. Ah, <laughs> glamorous. Ah, uh, ever the pretender. And a gold armor. Guildwing is how you show the world. Guildwing? Gilding? Got gilding? It's how you show the world you mean business. You know, can't have a kingdom without flashing some gold. Thank you. Alright, next up. Yeah, and this gold armor was talking about getting some new moves. Showing up the other gold armors. And now we can. Whoa! This is awesome! I could perform lots of sword stabs in armor like this! I'm going to put it in for a transfer to the Lost City immediately! And I think that's where we'll go next. Okay, since we've got a little bit of time, because this is a little bit of a shorter episode, I'm going to show something else. You take this little thing over to the... I think this guy is called Memic? He gets excited. He's like a little doggy, and you get all kinds of gold. You just play around with him. He, he is just... He is an adorable little booger. Oh, look at me. Oh, he's... Well... He's just having some fun. <laughs> he's just so excited. He's like, Ball! Ball! Yes! Ball! Uh, oh, he's playing with it now. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's so cute. Alright. Uh, since we've got money... Let's do that. The vessel is nearly full. Let's see what... Oh! Oh, the Mimic! Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry, Mimic! Oh! He lost his ball! Oh! I've never seen that before! Oh, that's so sad! Here! Here, have another... Hang on. Hang on. Here, have another ball! There you go! He's a happy dog. Alright! And I think with that, we're gonna call it an episode. A bit on the shorter side, but, you know, that's how things go sometimes. We got all the wisps, all the red skulls, got a new curio, and we got King Knight back on track. You know, despite the fact that we killed him. But anyway, <laughs> uh, next time, we are going to the Lost City to recruit Mole Knight. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!